everybody, this is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, and today we're here in Southern Florida on the hunt for nocturnal wildlife. Let's get exploring. Here in Florida, many reptiles are preferentially nocturnal to avoid the heat of the day and more effectively thermoregulate. Many of these species will climb into the treetops on the hunt for insects, and that's where we found our first animal guest. Hi guys. Okay, check it out, check it out. Look at this. Do you see him? Look how little he is. This is actually, despite how cute it is, an invasive species. This is the Mediterranean house gecko. Now these are a very common invasive reptile, not just here in Florida, but all of the East Coast throughout the Southeastern US. We actually find these in North Carolina on the East Coast as well, which I think is pretty much the Northern extent of their range. Geckos are cool because they're in the lizard family, so you see it has a pretty classic lizard body plan. But most of our geckos are nocturnal, so they have these really huge eyes that allow them to let in tons of light, even at night, and they are primarily insectivores. So they're out here actively foraging on insects. You can often find these in trees, and these are one of the few geckos that actually have claws instead of toe pads. Most other geckos have pure toe pads. These guys have both and that lets them climb totally vertical surfaces, which is pretty neat. But none of our native lizards have that adaptation, and a lot of our native lizards also will have very defined striping or be like solid green in the case of anoles. So that's how you can tell uh, what a Mediterranean house gecko is, and also it is probably going to be out at night. Rarely will you ever see these in the day. They are really cute though, they have really unique eyes, and even though they're invasive, I still think they are a really neat little reptile to find. So we'll go ahead and throw this guy back on his log, and we'll keep searching. While our little gecko friend was definitely an exciting find, I really wanted to see, as you may have guessed, a snake. All right, guys, check this out. Look at this cutie right here. Hold on. Let's get him up. Hello. Hey, this is a baby rat snake. Probably a baby yellow rat snake. Now, you cannot tell the subspecies of rat snake it's going to be when it's a juvenile it usually takes a couple sheds for it to really take on that adult coloration that it will carry for the rest of its life there's also corn snakes here and this could be a baby corn snake but in any case it's either a corn snake or an eastern rat snake both of those are non-venomous and you can see this pattern does look just like our gray rats or corn snakes because of course it is a baby rat snake now we found him as you can see foraging on a tree here and as we've learned in other videos, our rat snakes are semi-arboreal. So they're not spending their entire lives in trees, but as babies, they will definitely take refuge in trees because it gives them an easy escape place from predators and a great location to hunt for insects, which is probably a lot of what this little guy is eating. Nighttime temperatures right now are still in the 60s, so it's enough for him to be awake and moving around, but not really enough for him to be super actively foraging. In the heat of the afternoon, he might be going on adventures onto the ground to hunt for things, but at night, he'll probably stick to the trees for safety's sake. This is a really cute little snake. It'll probably take him about two years to get to that full adult size, and then he could be maybe up to six feet long as a fully grown adult. Really, really cool, really cute snake. We'll get just a couple photos and get him back on his tree. That is awesome. Really? All right, everyone. This has been a really amazing animal encounter. Allie and Ben W. spotted this little guy in this hole right here. And that is where we're going to put him back. All right, you going to go back home? <laughs> Grow up big and strong now. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. And I'll see you on our next adventure. Until then, stay curious and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.